Unraveling Permutations in Data Analysis. Hello, dear learners. Today, we're diving into the fascinating world of data analysis as a part of the GRE's Quantitative Reasoning section. Our specific focus will be on permutations. By the end of this video, you'll have a clear understanding of this mathematical concept and its applications in real-world scenarios. Let's jump right in. Permutations are all about ordering. Imagine you have a set of distinct items. The number of ways these items can be arranged in a sequence is termed as a permutation. For instance, if you have three distinct letters A, B, and C, how many different ways can you arrange them? A, B, C, A, C, B, B, A, C, B, C, A, CAB, and C, B, A. That's six ways in total. Permutations can be calculated using a simple formula. NPR equals N, N minus R. NPR equals frac N, N R. NPR equals N minus R, N dot. Where N and N is the total number of items. RRR is the number of items you want to choose. Exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark denotes factorial, which means multiplying all whole numbers from the chosen number down to 1. For instance, for our previous example with letters A, B, and C3P3 equals 3, 3 minus 3 equals 3, 0 equals 3 times 2 times 1 equals 63P3 equals frac 3, 3 to 3 equals frac 3, 0, equals 3, times 2, times 1 equals 6, 3P3 three three equals 3 minus 3, 3, equals 0, 3, equals 3 times 2 times 1 equals 6. Permutations are commonly used in scenarios where order matters. From arranging books on a shelf, deciding the sequence of races in a sports event, to determining password combinations for a safe. Understanding permutations helps engaging possibilities. Imagine you're trying to crack a password that consists of three distinct numbers. By knowing permutations, you can deduce there are 10P3 equals 72010P3 equals 72010P3 equals 720 possible combinations if you consider numbers from 0 to 9. 1. Always identify if the question is about permutations or combinations. Remember, order is crucial in permutations. 2. Break the problem down. Sometimes, it's easier to deal with parts of the sequence separately. 3. Use the formula. With enough practice, it becomes second nature to apply. And there we have it. You've just uncovered the world of permutations within data analysis for the GRE's quantitative reasoning section. With practice, you'll be solving permutation questions with ease. Keep learning. And remember, every step takes you closer to acing that GRE. Happy studying!